Okay, so this is the setup of WVD environment. I have an on-prem AD, and that is getting synced via uh, through uh, Azure AD Connect server. Azure AD Connect server or Azure AD Connect syncing my on-prem Active Directory to Microsoft Azure Active Directory. And then when, I, when we will deploy Azure Active Directory domain services or Azure ADDS, Azure Active Directory will sync from, or will, uh, my object will sync from Azure Active Directory to Azure Active Directory domain services. And that will be used by WVD. I will have some infrastructure VMs like file servers or management servers that will also join to Azure Active Directory domain services and will be used uh, for WVD. Uh, so this is the setup. Uh, currently, my objects are getting synced to Active Directory. Um, let me just show you Azure Active Directory real quick. And these are some of the users. As you can see, sync, 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 sync. Root and user one, user two, user three, user four. They're all syncing from on-prem, right? And I have some cloud-based admins as well. So to start off with, first thing first, we will go to home and I, we will start off with deploying Microsoft Azure Active Directory domain services, all right? I'll say create and I would like to create a new resource group called RGWVD ADDS. Okay. ITSense.net, that's fine. I would like it to be Australia East Enterprise is fine with me. Forest type users because I want to sync all objects. Virtual network, I would like to create new instead of this one. And I would like to call it VNet Infra. And instead of 24, I would say 16. And my subnet will be SN Infra 1. And I will say 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Okay. And it says network security group will be automatically created. Okay. By default, who will be the administrator of Azure Active Directory Domain Services? Anybody who is the member of ADDC administrators group will be the will be able to admin or administrate Azure Active Directory domain services. So if I say manage domain or manage group membership. I see these three users are already a member, which is fine with me. Default settings, next. Yes, synchronization, I want to sync everything. Next, and create. It's giving me a warning that these services are final and I won't be able to make any changes. Like I won't be able to change DNS name or subscription or the source group or virtual network subnet or forest type. I'm okay with it. And now it's submitted the deployment. And now as you can see, the deployment is in progress. This will take around an hour or so. So what I will do, I will pause the video right now and, I, and we will resume when it's done. So take it easy.